Opening round State C Boys Basketball Tournament in Butte. Scobie fans happy to be back, but they get Melstone in the opening round. Didn't matter. Quickly into the game, Riley Linder going with a great pass underneath to Jeremy Handy. Scobie's up a quick 2 0. But the scrappy defense from Melstone comes back down, ties the game as it rattles home off the iron. But it was all Spartans in the early minutes of this one. C.J. Nelson, remember him from last year. Step back three off the dribble. That one splashes home, the first of many for Nelson. And he wasn't done. Check this out. This time in the corner, another three-pointer. Gets it to go. He had a game-high 21 points in this one, but it was a back-and-forth affair. We would go 13-2 as the Spartans open up this ball game. Melstone, though, you know they're chipping away and coming back. How about the big fella, Carson Hine, inside? That one made it look easy. Then Hines gonna be no good right here. Brody Greeby, right place, right time, and check him out. Slicing into the rack, left hand off the glass will go. Greeby, this time gonna go with his passing and assist inside to Isaiah Bouchard. That's up and in, and all of a sudden we have ourselves a ball game. Melstone though, gonna take its first lead right here. Noah Bouchard, one dribble, you betcha. Gets that one to rattle in off the back iron right there. 17-15. And it was a great game all the way through. 18-17, Melstone at half, but to the fourth we go. Greeby, pull-up jumper. The stars are out in the Butte Civic Center. Then Greeby this time, watch the spin move up and in. That one goes as well on the baseline. He had 17 points to lead the Bronx. How about this? It's going to be the other side, 40-36. We've got a minute and a half to go until Nelson buries another triple. Now it's 40-39. to Scobie, though, Melstone back on the other end. It's going to be Greeby one more time falling to the ground so it's a three-point game scoby down by three we're under 30 seconds to play how about riley linder only one of his six three-pointers went and it was the biggest of them all but here's where the drama comes in greeby gets fouled with 1.3 to go tie game makes the first so second free throw coming greeby staring it down four scoby players underneath the intentional miss however the clock, the buzzer went off. The referees decide to gather and say, okay, we're throwing one second back on the clock and giving it to Scobie. They held the possession arrow, and of course, CJ Nelson got the rebound. So Nelson, the full court bomb, the prayer, it's going to the freshman. Caden Hanran buries it. You've got to be kidding me. Scobie survives on the game winner, 45 to 43. I was just hoping to get it off, I guess. I just looked up to the clock and I just saw there was a second left. And I just threw it up there and hope for the best, I guess. So Your arms had to stretch pretty far to catch that pass. Was yeah. it intended for you or was it intended for It was intended for me, but I was, it was a pretty good pass, actually, to get me away from the defender so I could get the shot off. So. Top-ranked R. Lee featured in the second game of this state tournament. Still unbeaten are the Warriors taking on the Belt Huskies. They came to play, but let's go with Philip Molitaire driving inside. Check out the pass right there to Lane Johnson. That's easy up and in. Billy Fisher, though, the offensive board gets it and helps tap it right back out. White Cell spotting up from downtown. You betcha, no doubt about that one. R. Lee's up six in the second quarter. Coach Paulson and the Huskies, though, going to their all everything. Keegan Stroop trying to keep Belt around in the first half, gets this three-pointer to go, and then watch the hard work underneath from Trey Heitzman right here. Belt's only gonna be down 27-24 at halftime, but it was gonna be the third quarter that went Arley's way. In fact, 22-7, the advantage in the third quarter, including Will Mestiff, big down the stretch. A big triple right here for him. He had zero in the first half, three in the second, and here comes another one on the cross-court pass. How about the 15 points for the game high for him to help lead the way for R. Lee, and they're starting to pull away. Stroop doing anything he can to keep the Huskies in this ball game. This one's going to be a pull-up jumper. Gets it to go. 12 points for him. Had three boards and three steals, but it was too much R. Lee. Warriors went to the bench as well. Chase Gardner hit a pair of three-pointers. There's one of them, and it's 58-37. Warriors back in the semifinals as they take on Scobie. Yeah, um, I mean, they're great. They're extremely well coached. They've been there. Uh, we got a tied record between them, one and one. We've been looking forward to this for a long time to go ahead and come back and play them. Um, in the halftime talk, it was real simple and basic. Let's just get back out there and get our shots up so we can find our rhythm. We overplayed a lot and kind of exposed ourselves, and we kind of went back to more of a contained effort and kind of worked out to the advantage of us. We were able to get those shots to fall, and that was obviously a deal, deal breaker down the stretch for them.